everyone, welcome back. Today I have for you card number two in my 12 cards for Christmas series. I'm going to be creating a fun card with a Christmas stocking using the sweets and treats stamp set by Create a Smile. I'm going to be also creating my own background using this stamp set and as a coloring medium I'm going to be using the watercolors from Windsor and Newton. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start making my own background. I'm using the three stamps with the sweets. I already mounted them on acrylic blocks and I'm stamping with the Versafine ink in Onyx Black, which is a waterproof ink. And the cardstock is from Ranger. I believe it's the same as the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, which is also from Ranger. Even though I have a craft mat, I prefer to have a piece of paper underneath my cardstock or in this case, a paper pad, because sometimes I find it difficult to clean the mat. And I started stamping just randomly, first with the big, uh, what is it called, uh, candy cane is it called? And then I filled in with the smaller circle sweets. It didn't take me too long to stamp the background. Uh, what takes me the most time is to figure out where I want to place the images. If you want to be a little bit faster, it would be a great idea to create a template. After I was done with the background, I also stamped the stocking or sock. And as the stocking filler, I picked the stamp with the boxes and for the stamping, I use my mini misty. I use the acrylic blocks for smaller images where I need to stamp multiple times and where I'm less likely to mess up the stamping. But for most of my stamping, I do prefer to use the stamping tool like misty because it allows me to restamp. Then I started with the coloring. I'm not doing anything special, especially on the background. I'm just adding a flat color. The colors I'm using here is the watercolors from Windsor and Newton. And the reason why I decided to use these colors is because there is this bright red color that is just perfect for Christmas. I dipped my wet brush directly into the color and then directly onto the cardstock, just because I wanted the red to be really bright and bold. The coloring of the background took me a while because there were a lot of images. And after I was finished with the background, I colored the stockings and the presents. I will play a little bit of music and show you some of the coloring. Thank you. 
this was just a simple water coloring as I already said and after I finished I let it dry and worked on the sentiment. Because the stamp set doesn't have any sentiments, I picked up this Merry Christmas sentiment from Clearly Besotted. I don't think it's available anymore, but this was the only sentiment I thought fits this card perfectly. I used the red ink from Do Crafts and stamped the sentiment twice using my Mini Misty. Off camera, I fussy cut the sock and the presents. And the background panel I die cut using the stitched rectangular die from Create a Smile and I also attached the double sided tape on the panel and also the die cut images and the sentiment. Here I made a small mistake. Do you see which way I turned the card base? It's upside down and I didn't notice until I was adhering it on top of the card base. It's not a big deal because the images on the top cover most of it. The sentiment I adhered at the bottom of the panel and the sock with the presents I adhered in the middle. The presents I tucked in under the sock and I made sure that I put any of the foam tape on the back of the sock in a way that I have enough room for the presents. And lastly, I adhered the whole panel on top of a white card base. After I noticed I made a mistake, I made another card only because it was fun to color it. Even with the background being upside down, I think the card looks good and I really like it. And I hope you do too. If you do, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and hop over to my blog cherry-b.net for more inspiration. On the screen right now, you can check out card number two from last year's series. And on the right side, you can watch my first card in this year's series. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!